Welcome back, mateys, for another pirate adventure. Today we're reading Ned the Knitting Pirate by Diana Murray. Listen to the legend of the crew that sailed the deep aboard a tattered pirate ship they called the Rusty Heap. The pirates were a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong, and as they swabbed the deck one day, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea, so scruffy and scrappy and happy are we. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we ho and we swab and we knit. <laughs> the whole crew turned and stared at Ned. The ship was deadly quiet. Yar, said Ned. I likes to knit. Ye might too if you try it. The captain stomped his wooden leg. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. They sailed onto an island where the crew began to dig. And when they found a treasure chest, they sang and danced a jig. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We ain't scared of nothing, not one little bit. We heave and we hoe and we dig and we knit. The crew was all in stitches, but the captain nerves were frayed. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. This hat be custom made. The captain shook his golden hook. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit, nor wear a fuzzy hat. The pirates brought the chest aboard and counted each doubloon, then cooked a batch of squid ink soup and sang another tune. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea, as scary and hairy as any could be. We're grouchy and slouchy, we don't ever quit. We slurp and we burp and we gulp. And we knit. The captain got so mad he turned as red as a lobster stew. Yar, said Ned, I like to knit and that be what I do. The captain stomped and shook his hook. I'll not have knitting talk. Ye best not knit another stitch or down the plank you'll walk. So Ned went sadly to his bunk and stowed his hat away. He packed his needles, balls of yarn, and skull trim applique. He folded up his blanket with the Jolly Roger crest and stashed it with the knitted scarves, the mittens, and the rest. That night Ned heard a mighty splash. A chill raced down his back. The captain yelled, All hands on deck, prepare for an attack! And just as Ned had feared, it was the briny ocean beast who loved to snack on pirate ships, his favorite floating feast. His tentacles were thick with slime, his eyes a ghastly yellow, and cannonballs bounced off his sides as if his skin was jello. The hungry beast ripped through the sail and gobbled down a chunk while Ned raced to quarters and dragged up his knitting trunk. That captain called, Avast, this be no time for knitting Ned. But Ned rolled out the catapult. I got a plan, he said. Ned's blanket soared into the air and landed with a slap. The beast was oh so cozy, he could not resist a nap. He yawned a great big yawn and swam back down into his den. Another hundred years would pass before he'd wake again. The pirates danced aboard the ship and sang, Yo ho hooray! Three cheers for Ned the Knitting Pirate, hero of the day. And how the pirates fix the sail, knit one pearl to repeat. The pirates needed together till the new sail was complete. The crew aboard the rusty heap went on about their duties, 
while wearing fuzzy hats and scarves and knitted pirate booties. But they were still a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And every time they swabbed the deck, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing the sea. We do what we likes, and we likes to be free. We, we're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit. The end. Arg.